In Ephira, the mad King Azud ordered his dwarven artisans to build a temple guarding the tomb of his wife, the great Queen Asha, and all her secrets. A few years later, when he died, he was buried in a chapel near the temple. After that, several kings of the Ishabad were buried there. The temple and the tombs were abandoned many years ago, and since then they have become famed as a place of peril. They say that many tomb robbers and other adventurers have disappeared there, giving it the reputation of an accursed spot. All the actions of the enemy seem to suggest a search for some particular object or information which they didn't find in Tel Halaf or Kelbagan. Their next target will probably be Ephira.
I conjure you, ancient serpent, by the judge of the living and the dead, by that which has the power to send you to the icy hell of Vela Skyalf. Ahura Mazda, heavy of heart at the sin of his sons, the gods, withdrew himself to the far depths of the universe. Now since then, he has not been seen by the Avestus. From where the wise men say, he will only return at the end of time.
The king alone holds the key that will lead to the heart of his beloved. Are you perchance the king? Or are you merely a miserable thief skulking in the shadows? severs and pierces all things. I am he who revisits death upon the living dead. The enemy has outpaced you once again, taken this place. Though the tombs of the king and queen have not yet been desecrated, they contain powerful weapons that will be of great assistance. Other fell creatures have joined the orcs and the trolls, undoubtedly the fruits of necromancy. Could it be that a wizard or sorcerer is behind all this destruction? The marking of the tower and the eye of the map is undoubtedly 